What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's staying in, staying safe. I'm gonna make a little lunch now. Um, and I'm gonna make, since we're stuck indoors and I got someone here stuck with me, um, I'm gonna double it up. I'm probably gonna make lunch for, enough lunch here for about uh, two to three days. And all I'm gonna do is make a quick egg salad. Something simple you can do in your Ninja Foodie. And we're gonna start off my egg salad with a piece of bacon on the rack. How about that? If you really like bacon or you're making a ton of egg salad, you can double that up to a couple slices. Uh, what we're going to do is just make this super crispy so it can crumble it up right into the egg salad. Uh, very simple. Well, it isn't simple in the foodie, right? So we just uh, close the lid. Let me lower you down here so you can see what the heck I'm doing. All right, anyway, on Air Crisp 390. About 10 minutes, go. This is gonna make a perfect crispy piece of bacon. And while we're waiting around, I've got these eggs out of the fridge. Um, so we're gonna set them out on the counter. They're gonna be out on the counter for about 15 minutes uh, just to get some of that initial chill off. This keeps them, the shells from cracking uh, when we're gonna pressure cook them over here to, to hard boil them. You can't always stop them, but if you get them closer to room temperature, Pretty much the shells aren't going to crack on you. Anyway, as soon as this bacon's done, I'll show you how we do uh, hard-boiled eggs ninja foodie style. And boom, nine minutes later, a perfect piece of bacon. Um, I know I set mine to ten. <clears throat> different thicknesses, different brands, different types of bacon are all going to cook slightly different. That's as crispy as I want mine. That was nine minutes on air crisp at 390. Let's go ahead and prep the foodie. For the eggs and by prep all i'm going to do is drain the bacon grease out wipe it out real quick and flip the rack i'll show you what i'm going to do all right you see we got a little bit of bacon grease down in there a little more than normal because i also cooked uh, some bacon for breakfast this morning and i hadn't cleaned it yet um, so that's three uh, four or five pieces of bacon's worth of grease you can save that grease um, bacon grease makes um, an excellent thing to use for cooking i wouldn't hold on to it too long but if you're gonna fry up some potatoes or something uh, later on in the day you can certainly hang on to that grease and boy you talk about adding some flavor but anyway I'm gonna dump mine side note uh, never dump your grease down your drain folks never 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 just save all your cans I can save I got a cabinet full of tin cans and what I do is I put these in the freezer just like that makes the grease freeze and the morning that I take my trash down for trash pickup, I put usually one can at a time in, frozen, and then I bag that so it doesn't leak all over everything and irritate my trash guys. <laughs> and that's how you get rid of your grease. All right, I gave it a good rinse out and um, I didn't clean it. That's not necessary for what we're gonna do. And I got about a cup and a half of just regular old water in there. Um, my rack is still pretty hot. Let me zoom out for you. My rack here is still pretty hot. No need to clean this. Um, so I'm just going to use some old pot holders here. And we're going to roll it over upside down and drop it in. And position our eggs. The only thing I would recommend is not try not to let your egg touch the side. But other than that's probably honestly not going to hurt it either. But that's the way I do it. I'm only going to do six eggs today. That's going to make a considerable amount of egg salad. And for this, of course, you're going to need your pressure lid. All right, you've probably seen me do hard-boiled eggs before, but if it's your first time, we're going to do the super simple method. Foolproof, perfect hard-boiled eggs, guaranteed by Scott, every time, if you do what I say. Five, five. Five. I'm gonna let you write that down. Five, five, five. What the heck are you talking about, man? All right, five minutes on pressure. Five, but make sure you put it on seal, of course, all the way to the left. Five minutes natural pressure release means do nothing and five minutes in ice water. And you will see the results in about 15 minutes.
Let's do a little bit of prep. Just like to get ahead of things, that way I can clean up a little bit while I'm waiting for the uh, pressure cooker. I'm going to be mixing it up in this big old bowl. And I'm going to show you Scotch way to crumble a piece of bacon. It's already on a napkin for draining. It's already super crispy. So why don't we just use that napkin to do this. Voila. There you go. Crumpled bacon. If you got any bigger pieces that didn't work, you know, just break them up. As long as you get it good and crispy in there, you can get this nice effect. Is that perfect or what? I think so. All right. I like to put a little onion in my egg salad. You may not, but I do, and I'm not gonna put much, but I like a little onion in most things. This is a white uh, sweet onion. It's not a Vidalia, but it is a, considered a sweet onion. So let me uh, get the grease off my hands and we'll do that. All right, guys, I'm not gonna measure this, but because uh, I've done this too many times, and I know, some of you guys are really into onions, and personally I am too, uh, but this egg salad is going to be shared with someone else who's not quite as enthusiastic about onions as I am. Anyway, so I got one decent slice here. Get that skin out of the way. And I'm just going to finely chop this. Now, yeah, I can go get my food chopper out, but, you know, I'm not a big fan of dirtying up stuff. I got to go clean later for one little thing. You know, if I was dicing an entire onion, I'd go get the chopper. But I'm not dicing an entire onion. So. You know what? In my kitchen, the less stuff I got to clean, the more happy I am. <laughs> so I'm basically just doing a fine, normal everyday chop here. Yeah, okay, so that's probably over an eighth of a cup. So we'll take about half of that. Mix that up with the bacon. Get a visual, put a little more in. It's pretty good. I'll save that for something else tonight. Don't like to waste any food, y'all. That's a very good basis for my egg salad. And really, I'm not going to put much more in it. A little McCormick's uh, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, garlic, and the eggs. Okay, this is a unbiased, unsponsored thing. Make sure I get that out there. I'm using Dukes. I always use Dukes. If I'm using mayonnaise, I'm using Dukes. And that's about the end of that. I've been using Dukes probably my entire life. My mom cooked with Dukes. Uh, I don't care what the price is. If I'm going in the store and I see something a dollar cheaper, I'm still going to buy the Dukes. In my opinion, and most cooks' opinion, Dukes is probably the best mayonnaise you can ever have from the store. I'm not saying you couldn't make your own better, but store-bought. Dukes are nothing for me. Now, I will use Miracle Whip, by the way, for other things. I do enjoy the flavor of Miracle Whip, uh, but if I'm using mayo, Dukes, baby. While we're finishing up our first five minutes of the 555, let me show you this uh, Cormac I was just referring to. Again, they don't sponsor me. Check the description. I'll have some links for this stuff in there if you want to help me out. Buy it through my affiliate links. That's cool. Give me 25 cents or something. But um, I don't care if you buy this from me or not. You should go buy this stuff. <laughs> if you go back and look, I got about over 100 videos out. This is probably in 90 of them. Um, this is just the perfect seasoning. I don't know what else to say. This is the perfect seasoning. Okay, we're coming down to the first five minutes here. And what I'm going to do 
is absolutely nothing. This is called the natural pressure release, meaning we do nothing for five minutes. Now the way the foodie works, this is currently counting down. In a minute, or in 30 seconds, it's gonna go beep, and this keep warm thing is gonna turn on, and it's gonna count the other direction, up. And when it gets to five minutes, we will release the pressure, and we will have a bowl of ice water sitting by, ready to grab the eggs and go straight into the ice water, because we need to stop them from cooking. You don't want overcooked hard boiled eggs. It's nothing worse than opening up a hard boiled egg and having that super dark rubbery, almost orange center. That is, that's terrible. Anyway, there you go. Five minutes, we'll get them out. All right, we're almost to the five minutes of the natural and I've just got a big bowl of ice water out. And I'll be using these tongs to pull the eggs out of the foodie in 45 seconds. Now it is pretty critical that you release the pressure, remove the lid, and get the eggs out into the water as fast as you can. If you just let them sit around in there, um, I cannot guarantee you perfect hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> but if you do it the way I'm going to show you, you cannot screw this up. Plus, as I'm going to demonstrate for you, uh, these will be the easiest peeling eggs in the history of peeled eggs. You'll see. Okay, we're there. No dilly-dallying around. Get something other than your hand and release the pressure. Never release the pressure with your hand. You do not want that steam on this hand. Have somewhere to put your lid. We're going to work pretty fast here. Clearly, obviously, please never attempt to remove this lid until that red button has dropped. I think you could see the red button actually there. I think you just saw it drop, huh? How about that? Button down, it's safe. You do have a little condensation in the lid. Go ahead and remove it. You don't want this dripping all over your counters. You can afford a couple seconds for that. All right, let's go. By the way, no cracked shells. Not a single shell cracked because I let it get closer to room temperature. Uh, it wasn't at room temperature, but I had them out for 15 minutes on the counter before I put them in. All right, guys, set your timer somewhere, five minutes, and then we're gonna pull the shells and make our salad. Okay, y'all, let's go to work. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull the shells. I'm gonna drop the shells back in this bowl of icy water. I'm going to take the egg and put the eggs over into this bowl because even though these are going to peel incredibly easy, as you're going to see, there are micro shells that do stick to the egg a little bit. And besides, stuff sticks to your hands. So I'm just going to rinse these in the sink before I actually make the egg salad. I highly recommend you do that too. You ready? This is Scott's way. doesn't have to be your way. But here we go. Egg straight up and down. Break the top. The end. Crush the bottom, drop it down. I hit that pretty hard. Quick roll. I'm going to move everything over so you can see. And what you're looking for here, there's a little film underneath the skin. You want to grab that film and the shell will just fall off. And that is a lot to do with the pressure cooking and the steam that's built up in there. It separates uh, the skin from that little piece of shell. So that's it. There, there you go. And we're going to do that again for you to prove that wasn't a one-time thing. Pop it. Pop it. Break it. Roll it. I didn't crush it. I just rolled it. And get this back over here for you. And the same thing. Get your finger under that thing and you can feel it. And look at that. The entire shell come off in one piece. And that is going to happen on all of them. I guarantee it. I've made 
hard boiled eggs in here using the 555. <clears throat> I don't know, three dozen times. Anyway, I won't bore you with the other four. I'm gonna do those, knock those out real quick, rinse these all off, and let's go ahead and make it up. All right, everything's all rinsed up. And before we start, I'm gonna show you how perfect of an egg that is. Now, let me just grab a knife for you. Before I start smashing everything up, let's just cut it. That, my friends, is a perfect hard-boiled egg. Done in the Ninja Foodi. Let's make egg salad. Alright, you don't need to cut these. Just chuck them in. All six. And we're just going to smash them up with a fork. That way, you can control how, I'm gonna, probably not using the right words here, but you can control how chunky or fine you want your egg to be. I just use a fork, regular old fork. I have other tools that I could use. For the sake of this, I'm gonna use a fork because I know everybody's got a fork. Okay, and I'm just going to bring them up against the side of the bowl and smash them. Smash them, smash them, smash them, smash them. You get the idea. Smash them. Okay. Once you got into this stage, uh, this is usually where I like to put in my seasoning because I have to do so much mixture anyway. Just go ahead and season it up right here. By the way, this does not, uh, you don't need very much of this. So this is a little expensive, but a little goes an awful long way. Highly recommend it. All right. Continue the chopping process, chopping, smashing. You just get it to whatever you want it. You know, I don't think you want that in your egg salad. So, uh, you know, so I'm gonna just continue to press down with the spoon, with the fork, and just get them the way I like them. And you get yours the way you like yours. I like mine a little bit chunky. Also, don't forget, um, we still got some stirring around to do with the Duke's mayonnaise. So don't go too far yet, because when you uh, start stirring around with the mayonnaise, you're going to break them up even more. So if you're trying not to make them fine, don't, don't go too fine right here. So what I'm doing is just picking out the big pieces right now, smashing those up. And they're going to break up again, like I said. Get you a good shot of that. Pretty good pieces in there, but like I said, this is going to uh, break down a little more when I throw in the mayo. Let's talk about that mayonnaise again. You know what it is, Dukes. And, um, and how much am I gonna use? Uh, one cup, two cups, nine cups? I don't know. I'm gonna put as much in there as I wanna put in there <laughs> to make it the consistency I want. So I'm not gonna give you a measurement, guys, because you know what? Everybody likes different things. That was a giant tablespoon. Giant tablespoon and a giant tablespoon. So I'll start with three and see where we go. Like most great things that you cook, do it by feel. Do it the way you like it. Do it the way you used to do it. I can tell you right now, three giant spoonfuls is probably just about right. Look at that. Creamy. Not runny. I don't like mine runny in mayonnaise, but some people do. Because I like to actually spread a little mayo on the bread when I make the sandwich. There you go. That is Scott's homemade egg salad cooked entirely in the Ninja Foodi. Uh, I will add one side note for adventurous people. <clears throat> you can add a tiny bit of pickle in this. I would not recommend very much, but you can put a sweet pickle, like a bread and butter pickle in here, um, or a tiny little dab of sweet relish. Um, I'm not going to do that because the other person that's eating this doesn't like pickles very much. But if this was just for me, I would absolutely slice and dice one of my homemade bread and butter pickles and drop it right in there. Of course, I can always put that on the sandwich. So I can have it and she can't. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button for me.
check out the comments. Leave me some comments. I read them and I try to answer all I can. You know, I get a lot, so I can't answer them all sometimes, but I try to get to them. Don't forget to share this video. If you're trying to help me out, help the channel out, that's the best way you can help me, seriously. Just share it. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share it on places I can't think where you share stuff. Um, so check the description box. I'll put a little instructions in here on the 555. And we will um, have the Patreon link in there and maybe the links to the Dukes or something like that in there if you want to try that stuff out. And that's it, guys. That is Scott's homemade uh, delicious egg salad done in the Ninja Foodie. Y'all take it easy. Stay safe out there. Stay indoors if you don't have to go out. If you're feeling sick, absolutely stay indoors. And uh, just everybody be safe. That's all I can really say about that. Just be as safe as you can. Follow your local governments or your federal government's directions. And all will be well with the world again shortly.